uh, when you guys are ready, we're going to get started. Uh, we'll start with introductions. Okay, well, uh, hello, my name is Jitske. I'm uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, more specific, I'm from Friesland. Uh, it's a province in the north of the Netherlands. Um, and my mother tongue is Frisian. It's uh, also called West Frisian because there are more Frisian languages uh, in Europe. There are more languages in uh, Germany as well. Um, and the Frisian language is uh, quite related to other languages, uh, for instance, to English. Uh, old Frisian and Old English, English were uh, quite related to each other. And you still see some words nowadays, like the English word uh, cheese, which is cheese in Frisian, or the English word key, which is uh, kai in Frisian. Mm. Um, further, the language is also uh, related to Dutch, obviously, um, and also to German, which you can see in uh, one example I have. Uh, second person singular is do in both languages. And if you want to say you are or you have, you say uh, du bist or du hast in both languages. So that's a, yeah, that's a funny thing, I would say. Uh, yeah, that's a short introduction about Frisian. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. No, th that's great because, uh, as I mentioned before, a lot of people are not very familiar with Frisian, so it's it's really good to get people acquainted. Um, and uh, we're going to see, like, basically what you mentioned, people are going to see that when we do the words and the sentences. Yeah. Basically, like, when we do your sentences, we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if people who are speakers of other Germanic languages or even just English speakers can see what they can figure out from your sentences. Um, so Luke, you can go ahead now and introduce yourself. Hi everybody, my name is Luke. Um, today I'll be speaking Norwegian Bokma. Awesome, thank you. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna ease into this by doing a few words. Uh, you know, just some, uh, it's gonna be a little bit simple. And then later we're gonna do sentences and uh, that's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but I think the words are gonna help you just sort of get acquainted with the other language before we move on to the more challenging part. So the first Frisian word is the word ban. 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 Um, is it leg? Sorry? Is it leg? No. Bine? No. Ban. Barn? Yeah, I think so. My old children? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Child it's children. <laughs> Yeah. Ben. Cool. Okay, ben. Good job. That's so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's in the it's it's in the way that the word is pronounced, right? So just keep that in mind with the other ones, yeah. and it, it should help Definitely. you. So now you That's can read, real. now you can read the first uh, Norwegian one. Okay. So the first Norwegian word is svart. Svart. Is it black? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's well, exactly the same. Svart. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. It is roppe. Oh, um, shout. Yeah. Oh, so it's exactly the same. Roppe. Oh, cool. Nice. Got one. Got one point. <laughs> 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 yep. So the next Norwegian word is blood. 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 Is it like a leaf? Yes. You're so oh. good. <laughs> Yeah, in Frisian, I would say bled. Bled. Ah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. The third Frisian word is skuld. 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 Uh, hurt? Like, no. Or, no. Skuld. Oh, um, uh, guilt? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So in Norwegian, it's shill. Ah, okay. So in Norwegian, um, the SK is like sh like a sh sound. So like, and then Y L D like shill. So like shill. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the next Norwegian word is hund. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done. It is uh, in Frisian. It's hund. Hund. Oh, so hund in Norwegian is she. Ah, okay. Ah, funny. My next word is vogel. Football? Vogel. Is it football or? Sorry? 
Uh, is it in? Is it uh, in English football? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no oh, sorry. <laughs> Can you say it one more time for me? Fuchol. Fuchol. Um, Fuchol. Fuchol. For whole, um, to hold something for whole. No, no. Um, isn't bird? Is it? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> In Norwegian, you say "fool." Oh well, that's uh, that's quite similar, actually. Yeah. How do you spell it? Oh, F U G E L, and then there is this. We call it a roof. On the U, there yeah. is a roof. So wow! Like. Almost exactly the same in Norwegian, F U G L. Ah, really? Cool. Yeah. That's so awesome. Oh, and then, yeah, and the sound is so different then, still. Yeah. Even if the writing is the same. That's so uh, nice. Are you ready for the next Norwegian word? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> so the next Norwegian word is blomst. Blomst. Hmm. Can you say it again? Quicker? Uh, again? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, blomst. Blomst. Yes. Uh, well, blom is flower in Frisian, is it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blom. Blom. Okay. Blomst, like, quite similar. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last word is skruva. Skruva. Um, is that to screw something? Sorry. To screw something? No. Skruva. Skruva. Oh, um, uh, is it to write? Yeah, it is. Skriva. Oh, that's uh, quite similar. Yeah, nice. So the last um, Norwegian word is tid. 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 So it's tid. Oh, time. Yes. <laughs> ah, in Frisian, nice it's tiet. tiet. Oh, really similar. Yeah, it is. Again, yeah, cool. That's awesome. Uh, this was a really, really nice way to sort of get acquainted uh, with the other language a little bit. Uh, you know, you can tell like sometimes because of the sound shifts or certain uh, letters being pronounced a little bit different the words are still very close right so you sort of become more familiar this way so i figured this was a nice way to to get you started do do some similar words that are uh, more simple now we're going to move on to the sentences and this is going to be a little challenging um, you're probably going to pick up a couple of words here and there but if you can't figure out the sentence you can help each other out you can okay. uh, give hints or maybe even if it becomes too challenging, then you can just translate it. Uh, uh, so here it is. Het loert van de vogels in de loft is prachtig. Het loert okay, so I... van de vogels in de loft is prachtig. So I got loft, which is air. Um, Sprache, if that's how you say it. Uh, is it language by any chance? No. The loot from the vogels. Do you remember the word vogels? Yes. So the birds in, in the air, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. So a loot if luft sprache. The loot from the vogels. The loot from the vogels. So it's so think know, maybe nice. about the English word loud. It has to do something with hearing. A loud bird. Mm. A loud bird uh, in the air. Loud means the sound. The loud means uh, the sound. Yeah, the loud. The sound of the bird. Birds. Uh, yeah. Um, I must want to say, is shouting or screaming? No. Uh, prachtig means, shall I say what it means? Oh, or talking. You... No. Prachtig means wonderful. Oh, oh, I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a tough one, I guess. So the, sound of the, bir- the sound of the birds in the air is wonderful. Ah, I've noticed, like, when you said it, and I had to think, like, lead, 
it's like sound in Norwegian, so lead, like ludos or something. So as a slight similarity with that one, luft, I got straight away because it's the same in Norwegian. Oh, um, yeah. But the last one, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first Norwegian sentence is, Jeg liker å fange somme fugler mens jeg går på tur. Wow. Kan du gjøre det igjen? Ja, sjøp. Så, jeg liker å fange somme fugler mens jeg går på tur. Er jeg noe har å gjøre med jeg? Jeg? Ok, jeg liker. Jeg liker? Ja. Okay, jeg liker, and what was the third word? Å fange. Å fange? At the start? No. Okay. But it is a verb. Okay. Catching? Yes. Okay. I like catching. And then, can you say it again? Sommerfugler. The summer feeling? So okay. but the, the word is summer food and um so it's an animal, well an insect. Okay. Um can you say the word again? Yep, so summer fooler. Summer fooler. Fooler. It's a beautiful insect. Okay. If that's any help. <laughs> um, butterfly. Yes. Ah, I like catching butterflies. Yep. And then what were them over? So, um, so after butterflies, meant jeg går på tur. With you? No. So, um, so meant is the word after and then after that is yai so it's butterflies mm, i um go for to mm. for to it's it's tough i i don't really have a clue okay so the whole sentence is um i like to catch butterflies while i'm hiking or like on a trip ah okay and what was the Norwegian word for hiking? Um, so they say tur, but like well, sometimes tour. tur, yeah, it's it, like it, you spell it, you spell it like T-U-R, but then sometimes like it can mean trip. So like you can say like, I'm going to travel on a trip. So. Oh, okay. Nice. So now we're doing the final sentence and uh, this is going to be a little bit more challenging. Um, but once again, I think you'll be able to pick up some of the words and see if you can piece them together and, and, and figure it out and uh, give each other hints. And if we reach a point where you realize it's too challenging, then you can just translate it and say what it is. Okay. So this is a tough one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Alve Sterrentocht is a reedridderstocht that the Alve Frieske Stern verbindt. Okay, so I've got a few words. Is stolt like proud? No, no. No, okay. Uh, the Alpha um, Stern Tocht is a reedridders tocht that the Alpha Frieske Stern verbindt. So, stead, like a place or like a yeah. town. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I, I think you said like liter, so like a little place or a little town. Mm, it has something to do with towns. Okay. Um, Not one specific. Okay. Can you say the first part again for me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Alvestede Tocht. Okay. So is it like the capital city, the Hovet, or like the main village or place? No. Um, Alve is a number. Uh, it's not eight, is it? No. No. Alve. Eleven? Yeah, yeah. Elva. Stede. Stede means uh, cities. Cities. And tocht means tour. Oh, oh okay. So eleven, eleven cities. Tour. 
school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's the Alvesteinetocht. Um, mm-hmm. The Alvesteinetocht is a rate reader's tocht. Reed is it reader. like? It's a I sport um, which is super popular in the Netherlands. Um, is it water polo? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No. Not like horse, like something to do with a horse. No, no, no. Shall I say the sport? Yes, please. It's a uh, it's ice skating. Oh really? Oh yes, yeah. on the. Um... In Amsterdam on the little rivers, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the first part of the sentence is um, the Eleven City Tour is an ice skating tour. Mm-hmm. And further, I will continue in Frisian again. Yeah. Dit de Alve Frieske Stein verbiedt. So I'm just gonna say I, I'm guessing is the best place to be or like be. Can you say it one more time again? <laughs> yeah, the Alve Stein Tocht is a rijtrijder stad. Dit de Alve Frieske Stein verbindt. I'll be honest, I, I have no idea. <laughs> no, it's fine. I will, uh, I will just spell the sentence in English. So the Eleven City Tour is an ice skating tour um, which combines the Eleven Frisian cities. Ah, okay. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> like some words, like... Um, I can hear them like in Norwegian, but then it's like, like Frisk. I heard like we have that in Norwegian. And then like when I asked about like the capital city, because we say like Hovudby, so it's like the main city. That's why I thought I should talk about capitals or something. So mm. quite similar. But yeah. yeah. So the Norwegian uh, sentence is In Norge har vi mange skoger, og mange forskjellige dyr i havet, på landet og opp i fjellet. Okay, it sounds really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, can you do it again a bit slower? Yeah, sure. So if you want, I can do like the first like part. So Please. in Norge har vi mange skoger. In Norway? Yeah. And then what was the, the, the following word? Har vi mange skoger. We have? Yep. In Norway we have? Mm. Mongus. Uh, a lot. School gear. Yes. A lot. And what was the last word? School gear. Children. No. School. No. Okay. School gear. School gear. Um. Can you help me a bit with this word? <laughs> yeah. Sure. So. Um. How do I say it without giving away the word? It's like a type of environment. If that's any help. <laughs> um, mountains? No, it's a type of habitat. If that's that's a better word, habitat. Okay. So um, it's forests. Okay. So the and the rest of it is or mange for shelly deer i hava. Um, uh, and and many. What the last word is haven, right? Haven. Okay, yes. is it like a port, like a where the ships yes. are? Yeah. So, like in in English, you'd be like maybe the sea, but like in in the region, you can say shuren. So you can like use haven or shuren. Uh, but yeah, so you've got the last word of that part. So haven, like yeah. the ocean or port. Yeah. Um, so one so, more word for this, <laughs> right? Yeah, so it's just for Shelly Deer i Hava. So uh, 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 in the sea. Fish? Mm, close, like, because yeah, you're yeah, almost you... there. Like, you're almost there. Okay. So, or monkey for Shelly Deer i Hava. So basically means, and many different animals in the, like, ocean. So for Shelly is different, or you can say analedus. Dude is animal, um, Ihava in the ocean. And the yeah. next after is Polamna or Opifiella. Can you say it a bit uh, slower, please? 
Of course, yeah. So på landet og opp i fjellet. Uh, and on the countryside and the fields, something? Like yeah, so på landet, it's like on the land, like you can say countryside or... So you got that part, right? And then the rest of it is på opp i fjellet. Um, fjelle. Norway has a lot of them, if that helps. <laughs> Sorry? Norway has a lot of them, if that helps. Then I would say again mountains, but... Um... Correct, oh. correct. Oh, okay, nice. That was a good uh, tip. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. So uh, I'll just quickly say all in English for you. So in Norway, yeah. we have many uh, forests. We have many different uh, animals in the ocean, on the land slash countryside and up in the mountains. Nice. I thought it was really nice. Um, yeah, I do not. I did not know a lot about, about Norwegian language, but um, I feel like I know a bit more now, and I'm more enthusiastic to get mm -hmm. to to know the language a bit more. Yeah, to learn some more things about uh, the language. Awesome. Yes, and now yeah. you can probably listen to Norwegian conversations and see if you can pick up more of it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. She can spy on the conversations when she's on the, uh, no, she's on a patur. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, I think I always heard of about Frisian when I was um, a little boy. I always loved learning languages and I was always told like Frisian is like the most easiest language to learn for English speakers. So I was like, I definitely want to learn that someday. So interesting to like hear in a way like a different language, that's dialect of Dutch. And it was actually kind of awesome because it's, for me, I felt like it's a bit like English, Norwegian, had a child and then like <laughs> Frisian was there. So it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both for being a part of this. It was it was really wonderful. Thank you, Thank you for all Thank the research you. you've done for this. Oh, it's 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 my pleasure. I, I love doing yeah. it. So <laughs> thank yeah. you. Well, That's what I say. Thank one. you as well. Yeah. Take care. Bye. And, uh, we'll talk soon. Yeah, Let's as we say, Frisian, dough. <laughs> when you say dough, you say dough. Yeah. Or as in, in Norwegian, we say harder, which is like, or you could say harder bra, like have it good. So harder bra, if it's not yes. Harder bra, harder bra. Bye bye. Bye, take care. Take care. Bye.